Hello everyone. Welcome back to Trade Masters channel where we decode the toughest of stocks with the simplest technical patterns. So today we're going to analyze Liberty Shoes and as the name suggests, this is a footwear manufacturing company and uh, these guys are basically into the production of shoes, uh, footwear, sandals, etc. And, et and one key important thing over here is this, these guys are also, you know, uh, distributing to or also producing for the defense sector and yeah, basically the military. And these guys are producing footwear for the defense sector as well. And recently in, uh, you know, 2021, they gained an order of almost uh, close to 100 crores in the form of you know footwear manufacturing order and that too basically for the army segment for the defense sector and uh, this is a small cap industry with a market capitalization of around 450 crores but if you look at the business model it has to compete against a bigger giants like Pata india etc and etc so overall if you look at the niche of the company it is very vast it has to compete against a huge uh, competitors and at the same time uh, if you look at the business model and if you look at the fundamentals of this company is also it is uh, showing some improvement in the sales it is not growing that vast as it should because uh, these guys are not promoting the products as much or these guys are not man you know uh, what to say uh, putting in some decent ads or anything so i don't uh, see any huge growth potential in this company on the long-term perspective but just to keep on a short-term perspective i expect this company to rise up by almost 20 to 30 percent just within a short span of third you know uh, three months 90 days basically so that is why i'm making this video so that you guys also can analyze the stock along with me and in case if you feel it's a value addition in your portfolio for a short-term perspective you can take the trade along with me as well okay so let's get into the technical uh, chart so i'm not going to show any fundamental perspective of this company it's uh, looking good there is nothing wrong on it so just since this is going to be a short-term investment of only three months i'm going to go ahead and uh, show only the technical pattern that is formed over here okay so this is a daily time frame that i'm showing over here and the first thing we need to do is we need to plot the support and resistance and uh, the strong level of resistance what i see is over here so this particular zone is going to act as a strong level of resistance earlierly and uh, so the resistance got formed over here once again the resistance the stock could not break out over here it came down once again the stock could not be you know break out over here it came down and it could not break out over here and it came down so recently somewhere around the uh, 3rd of october that is the uh, last week tuesday we have a good level of breakout at this particular stock and if you look at the breakout candle the body of the candle is very very huge and the wig is very very small so this i consider as a decent level of breakout and after that the stock rose up almost uh, close to 30 points right so from the breakout level the stock rose up almost 30 points and it is right now retesting so this is on the support and level, uh, resistance level so this particular resistance is going to act as a strong level of support right now so we're marking the support level in blue and this is on the support and resistance we have a clear cut breakout as well but that is not the only pattern that is formed over here i also see a cup and handle pattern in this particular stock so this particular zone is going to act as the cup over here and this particular zone is going to act as a handle over here so it's a it's looking like a cup and handle pattern formation over here as well and uh, yeah, from the cup and handle perspective as well, the stock has given a decent amount of breakout. And if you look at uh, the neckline, that is the retest zone is going to be somewhere around 265 to 260. So one, the current market price of the stock is at 273 rupees per share as of now. So I'm planning on investing in dips till 260. That is going to be my best buying zone. So 260 is going to be my best buying zone for this particular stock. And if you look at the targets, my first target is going to be 295 over here. This is going to be my first target. And my second target is going to be 320. So once again, this is going to be a short-term investment. And uh, just within a period of three months, I'm expecting a returns of almost uh, close to 20 to 22 percentage. So let's calculate the returns as well. Let's say that this is going to be my best buying zone. And once my final target is done, I'm looking at a returns of almost 23 percentage. So over a period of three months, if you're planning to hold the stock for a period of three months, then we have a good uh, almost 80 percentage probability that this particular stock can give us a target of almost uh, 23 percent, can give us a target of almost 320. So in turn, you'll be making a returns of almost 23 percentage. And stop loss, you can uh, keep below this particular low. So I'm going to go ahead and keep my stop loss around at 240. So let me move this over here. 
So if I'm keeping my stop loss somewhere around 240, let's say like uh, from the current market price, if I'm keeping my stop loss around 240 and this is going to be my target. I'm looking at a risk reward of almost 1 is to 1.4 from the current market price. And in case if the stock is coming down to my best buying zone of uh, 260, I'm looking at a risk reward of 1 is to 3. So basically for a risk of 1 point, my reward over here is going to be 3 points. And overall the stop loss over here, what I'm going to keep is uh, 20 points and the target over here is going to be 60 points. So that's it. That's it's a risk load of 1 is to 3. All right, so I believe this is a decent script to hold for a short term investment. The pattern that is formed is also looking good, and the fundamental viewpoint is also looking good. There is nothing wrong on that part as well. So, yeah, I believe this is going to be a good value addition in my portfolio for a short term perspective. So, that pretty much concludes the technical viewpoint on Liberty Shoes. I hope this video was useful and I hope you learned some informative things from this video. If you like my analysis, please do click on the like button. And if you want to support our channel and if you don't want to miss out on any of the future videos that we post, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel as well. I'll see you guys in the next video. Till then, it's back from Chris. Take care. Bye bye. And thank you for watching.